So it can be hard to talk about dying because it's something people don't want to talk about. They don't want to have those conversations. Um, it's too scary, it's too frightening because we have hidden dying away. We've medicalized it, we've put it in a side room with hushed voices. We have tried not to sort of engage with it. But the truth is that we're all going to die. And so having the open conversations with each other about that, it, it's okay. It doesn't mean it's gonna happen any faster, but it can be very, it can be very difficult to talk about it. So there's a way that we do it that's very gentle and sensitive and kind. I think through experience, I've learnt that not everybody is ready to talk about those things when potentially we, we really need to. I think you have to, to be very sensitive about the timing of those conversations. Um, I, th I think that you've got to get to know people and knowing people and their families in our care can often provide us with the opportunity and the right time to have those conversations. Um, so I think by knowing people, you can see if they're going to be receptive to, to what you need to discuss. I think building that relationship with them is the most important aspect of, of those discussions. And it's that everyday conversation. Um, I find that where the best way of doing it is to be there, is to be in the cottage with those residents, those family, and having that conversation every day about it. Where do you see things going? If you do see those things, what do you want us to do? I'm just preparing you for the moment that's going to happen. We're not there yet for end of life, but we are, we are looking at a palliative approach for them. I think for people who hear the word palliative care, immediately they think that their loved one is going to die within 24 hours. You know, the minute they're linked to our service, they're going to die, um, uh, you know, uh, imminently. Um, I don't think um, a lot of people have, you know, talking about death and death literacy is not a big thing uh, in our, our culture and our communities. And so it's learning new language and it's learning about what services are out there to make that process um, um, more comfortable for people. But there definitely has been a, a negative perception, I think, from a lot of people. So um, one of my colleagues used to answer the phone and say it's palliative and supportive care, uh, which seemed to sort of soften it a little bit and add it, it was a bit more euphemistic. But um, it's interesting because the word pallium means cloak in Latin. So it's actually about cloaking those symptoms and trying to sort of uh, uh, help the person through a process, but for some reason or other it has a negative connotation.